are officially two days until Christmas. Yes, today is December 23rd. Christmas is falling on a Friday this year. I don't know how I feel about that. I would have much rather it fell on a Thursday, had my Friday and Saturday to do like, you know, run some stores and get some sales. But you know, whatever. Um, this year is so different from last year as far as like family gatherings go. So um, yes, I hope that you all definitely have um have had a pretty decent year we are almost at the finish line you all like how many days not too many days before the new year comes in i know i'm ready for 2021 i don't know about anyone else but i'm super stoked that 2020 is ending not to say 2021 will be better but it just feels like it's been this dark shadow cast over the year of 2020 and also my birthday is in january so yeah I'm, I'm always excited about january coming in so we're about to get into a sneaker review um i normally do sneaker fridays on my channel but today you're gonna get a sneaker wednesday to review this shoe because it is like it's just a dope shoe it's from a dope person we're about to get right into that now so the sneaker that i'm reviewing today it is none other than the converse chuck 70 um the converse t-shirt joe fresh goods collab solo joe fresh goods or if you follow my channel subscribe to me you know you have heard me talk about him and you know just like his work i've worn a couple tees of his like very much so in awe with how he comes up with his concept i just think he's a really dope designer so um he's based out of chicago if you all didn't know i mentioned him i know in one of my haul videos one of the t-shirts that i purchased from his website and also in one of my sneaker reviews back from all-star weekend when i think it was the um jordan ones or the off-white fives or something that i picked up but um he released a new balance that basically shook the world um, his collab and his release was very unattainable for me i'm not from chicago i wasn't traveling to chicago it was extremely cold then you know how february is in most states it's still pretty cold so um you know without further ado i'm going into the shoe but i didn't want to give you all like a little background of the sneaker but we'll do that as i'm going through the box so the box is super dope like let's just get into this i'm a girl that's all about packaging and this here like this here y'all of course i saw the pictures online of course the pictures made me want to go out and grab a sneaker but to see it up close when i opened my box up i was just like not a bootleg this time huh <laughs> so this is what the box says it just has not a bootleg this time it has the converse logo here like Kind of behind the writing and it also has the converse wording here it has not a bootleg across the front of the box and also across the back of the box so um let me just show you all here then i will have all the information in the um description box this pair released on the 17th it released like on foot locker foot action converse um feature like there were several websites that did the global release of this sneaker the sneaker release he did on his website was completely like i didn't even get a chance to get in a running like when i got on there my size was gone i'm like a kid size like i was just really shocked but you know it is what it is like shout out to joe shout out to everyone that was all over this release you know some of you all are just not getting on to him but you know another topic for another day for these new newbies in the sneaker world but anywho <laughs> because you all know that i have a rant just about everything but um also right here it does have the converse logo on this side of the box and yeah so that's all that the box entails when you open a box top up you do see both of the shoes but they are covered up of course i already did pics and you know all that stuff of them but i rewrapped the shoes how everything was packaged so for you all because i just had to peek into this I box the sneakers back up this is how they were wrapped up when they arrived to me the sneakers um oh they're well protected um i do like that because these are canvas materials so you know you do want your sneakers protected so basically this is the left sneaker here like i know right like can't just just get into this just get into it y'all like when i opened the box up i was like whoa like for one on um, pictures i thought the midsole the toe box all of this was like a complete white color but 
I don't know if it's picking up on camera. It is very much so like a cell color. It's an off-white color. It's not like a bright white. I love that. I'm not a huge fan of white midsoles or white soles um, on shoes. So I'm really loving that. The sneaker, um, basically to give a story, give the story behind it. The box has not a bootleg on it and all that stuff because it is very well known. Um, he speaks about it all the time, but um I can't remember what year it was, but some years ago he was doing like his version of Converse, but they were like the bootleg version, the um the non-authentic version of the Converse right here, the Chuck 70s. So or the All Stars, whatever you want to call them. So um I will pop up a picture on either side of me so you can see how that pair looked the pair was dope i hate that i didn't get my hands on that pair but you know you win some you lose some and basically that was his version of converse so the box had like the converse box but it had like on the verse part of the box it had artists written over like so like con artists but like it was just a real cool concept if um if you're interested you should go i'm gonna have a picture up here but you should definitely you should definitely go read up more on it because it's just so cool how this became like a full circle moment with him collabing with converse um also i don't know if i mentioned but he's a black designer so shout out because we are rooting for everybody black on this channel and in life and in period okay so, um, the sneaker does come with two different shoelaces. It has a pair of black laces here. It also has this pair of, like I said, these are kind of like sail laces. Um, I really like it. I'm kind of, it's kind of giving me like a feel of the Union Ones with the two laces, but this up, they were like, kind of like intertwined. If you know what I'm talking about, how I feel about my tees. So, I'm like, this is the perfect shoe for me. Like, this shoe just speaks to me because I love t-shirts so you have like different patterns of the family reunion type of tees you have airbrush tees you also have here right underneath this little um exposed tag that is like detached from the shoe you also have like this cotton white tall tee and I what I think is so cool about it is it actually feels like a t-shirt like the textures on the shoe is it's giving me life right now and you have like the tie-dye like it's just it's just super dope to me here at the top of the shoe you can see it on the opposite side of the shoe you can also see it um i will say the shoe is like orange black green yellow purple blue um it's definitely giving me a lot of purple and green so to me it gives a, like a kind of like a mardi gras feel as well the opposite panel of the shoe but you're getting basically like two shoes in one like what I love the most about the sneaker is this here. And I was trying to save it for last, but um, it has on here 100% cotton pre-shrunk premium quality t-shirts made with love. Tea so good you won't need to cop extras. Um, JFG XL Adult 4648 Converse All-Star Chuck Taylor Chuck 70. So I really love it. I love how it's like not like attached to the sneaker. I think that's super cool. Right here on the back of the midsole, you do have Converse All-Star Chuck Taylor here. It's kind of like, you know, paint has the, like that pen feel to it. The toe box has that pen feel, but it's not like super like, you know, squishy or anything. It's really well made. You hear that noise, like it's kind of like has a hard like sound to it. Actually, I did try these on. Y'all know that I don't really try sneakers on, but I wanted to make sure because it was a five and a half. So I wanted to, you know, make sure everything was good. Everything was okay. Star has the sizing right here. Um, right here, the lining around the shoe, it is like a, a deep red. I'm pretty sure that's picking up on camera. And so it does have Converse and it just has it in blue, yellow, and red. It has a little star symbol. So, um... You all may can see that. I can't really tell because it's morning here and it's pretty bright. So, yeah. And, yes, I'm just I'm just loving the shoe. I'm going to pull out the other sneaker so you all can get a good side-by-side -side because you all know that's my signature thing on this channel. I like to give y'all a side-by-side. -side. And I'm trying to help him wrap up the review of the sneaker because we also have another part of the video. So, yeah. But, um, here you go. So, I'm really loving these so, so much. I love the details of it. I've been having so many people come in and ask me, like, where are those? Like, where did you get those? Like, those are, like, some of the craziest chucks. Or, like, I've never seen Converse look like that. I'm like, same here. I never have as well. Like, this is definitely, like, the craziest Converse that, like, I've seen in my life. I don't think nobody is going to like 
outdo this this was definitely a must-have for you me. know one way i'm gonna style them and that's what we're gonna get into next yes i did purchase one of the t-shirts from his line i forgot to mention but his line comprised of of a lot of clothing it also was another pair of um converse the pro leathers i will pop up a picture here as well those were dope and those were nice but your girl it's the holidays i couldn't cop everything you know like we we definitely have a sneaker budget over here. Okay, so open the package up of the t-shirt. And this, as you can see, it fell down. <laughs> as you can see, this is, okay, the tee was $50. So it was retail for $50. It's the Love and Happiness t-shirt. This is how it looks in the package. So cool, super dope. Um, never got like, you know, of course, a Joe Fresh Goods t-shirt with like a Converse tag. So that's pretty cool. And it also has like other little tabs and stuff. So let's just open this right up. Oh, I love how it doesn't have like that, you know, the normal, normal tissue paper. It has like this little plastic in between the shirt. Super cool. Y'all, look at this. One, like, I love the quality of, you know how you get t-shirts and they have like that, like t-shirty smell, like nothing like that at all it has like the tie-dye you know tie-dye is like a super huge trend this year it's so well made like y'all i love it super dope it's definitely like the color of this this side of the sneaker like come on okay like this is how I be when I'm like opening stuff and I'm not being, I'm not recording myself do it. Good quality tee, okay? I own a lot of t-shirts and trust me, this is a good quality tee. Even down to the sleeve here and it has like the Converse symbol like embroidered in. It's like, you know, it's really nicely well made. Yes, I like this. This is nice. So I was saying Converse tag here you have these like other tags it just says please be careful when wearing this garment it has a special finish which may rub off on other fabrics we recommend washing the garment separately and turning it inside out to retain this original look heard you okay it's a 50 dollar tee as y'all can see I don't buy a lot of $50 tees, but I bought this one, okay? I normally stick to like $30, $35 for tees, but you know, it's the holidays. Treat yourself, don't cheat yourself. If you don't learn nothing else on this channel, you learn at the gym today, okay? So, um, that's going to bring us to the end of this video. Um, just want to show the tee again, not even showing my face right now, but look at it. Let me give y'all a bam look at the back of it like yes i honestly feel like this is a work of art like this should be displayed somewhere like on a mantle somewhere like i'm pretty sure joe has like <laughs> has these just posted up on a mantle like in his house like we're just gonna sit there right there on my shoulder like we're just like okay <laughs> So enough of all that. I will see you all in my next sneaker video. Um, I just want to say happy holidays to everyone. Merry Christmas. Um, because you probably won't see me again till after Christmas. Don't know, which, but you probably won't. Oh, also, this is the inside of the tongue. Didn't show that, but you know, y'all know how I get. I get to talking and I forget things. But anywho. As always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.